the truth the girls. Hi everyone, the it's the truth the girl Sonia here, and I'm here to do another video about menopause. This video, it's it's really for all the other ladies out there because I know there's a lot of you. The other ladies in my viewership who are going through perimenopause or approaching, yeah, the M word. I know it's hard because like I've been dealing with it too and I want to share my experience with you I'm hoping that maybe I can help and you know what I need help too so if you have anything that you can tell me I welcome your advice so I want to give you an update and this is also for uh, anyone who's living with a woman who's going through this it's been like this big taboo you're not supposed to talk about menopause but you know what we need to talk about it because it's it's heavy it's it's not a little thing it's a big deal it's really really hard it has been for me anyway so here's the thing I am officially two years post menopause I know you probably look at me and say you look like you're too young um, that's what my doctor thought that's why it took a long time for him to even realize I really was going through menopause um, I'm not like officially too young I mean I'm on the young end of it yeah like at the edge of the young end of when it can happen but it can happen in your early to mid 40s it can happen it happened to me so two years post and I was thinking well you know once you get to menopause it's got to get better you know what in some ways it has gotten better I mean there were times where I was just completely exhausted like all day long um, very very depressed like feeling very strange emotional pain all day and just feeling really really horrible and I had those other symptoms like dizziness and you know whatever like all of them uh, I guess it's better than it was but you know what it's still not over it's two years since my menopause officially and I'm still having problems I'm still having hot flashes and somewhat some struggling with fatigue but not so much fatigue as much as before but just sort of general demotivation like loss of interest in things it's like whatever like I said in my last video you know and I was pretty emotional and, and I mean some of that is how I feel about issues but some of that is just my own state uh, and I don't know maybe a lot of you ladies are going through that too and it's things that you would have been really gung-ho about before or really interested and you're just like I don't care anymore now I know why old ladies sit in a chair and knit all day because they're like whatever <laughs> just get back to my knitting and pass the time oh, I don't want to be like that you know so um, I have not been doing uh, pharmaceutical HRT I've been prescribed it three times and three times I read the side effects and just was like no nah, I can't do this and I asked them for bioidentical and they're like oh it's all the same I got male doctors every time even though I asked for a female doctor I was looking for someone who had real expertise and I just got the run-of-the-mill male gynecologist who's just like yeah just you know put this patch on oh uh, bioidentical ah, it doesn't matter you know whatever and and it was really like the same prescription each time it's just like a generic prescription that they give everybody I mean, maybe I'm asking for too much but I feel like I'd like to have it a little bit more tailored to my needs I mean we're not all the same look at the blood tests and then maybe tailor it I mean there are people who get menopause doctors who do that but I couldn't find one so anyway this is it three times the prescription three times I'm like no I can't do it so I have been doing herbal HRT and it does work and the reason I know this is that every time I try to stop it all my stuff comes back this is the one that I've been using I've showed you before it's called Feminex by Adrien Gagnon Feminex in case you can't see the label I'll tell you what's in it okay kudzu and red clover oh there's no soy and sage and black cohosh I found this is helpful definitely helpful with the hot flashes and I think it's helpful a bit with the the energy levels and the mood um, but I'm still really struggling with the motivation and it's just like you know what I feel like I've been castrated is how I phrased it to someone like imagine not that I have balls I've never had them but imagine if you took a man and you castrated him and and you know they say then they lose all their motivation they just become really passive and like Pleh, you know and and 
although I don't have testicles, I never have, but I feel like if you could castrate me, that's, you know, this, this is it. Like, I just feel like, bleh, you know, maybe some of you know how this feels. Like you just, you just lose your, your motivation. So I was reading more about menopause and I discovered that along with the depletion or destruction of estrogen and progesterone, you also lose your testosterone. That women do produce small amounts of male hormones, testosterone and androsterone, uh, very small amounts, but you know what? It makes a difference and I'm starting to feel like I need testosterone. I think that that's what's missing. I mean, I probably need the other things too, the estrogen and progesterone. Hopefully, hopefully I'm getting it from this. Actually, I'm a bit worried because if you just take estrogen, it increases your risks for certain types of cancer. Um, that's why they give you progesterone with it, but there's no progesterone in here as far as I know. So I'm not sure how healthy that is. That's why I keep going back to the doctor and looking for other solutions. But those products, they get, they're way more likely to give you um, deep vein thrombosis, like a blood clot. So I'm scared. Uh, but anyhow, I started to realize that, you know, maybe that's what's missing. Like nobody thinks about testosterone. It's all just your estrogen and progesterone. But the testosterone is a component too. And you know what happens if you don't have enough testosterone? This is what happens. You feel castrated. You just feel like, oh, I don't care anymore, you know, like I'm not motivated. You lose your vim and vigor. You lose your interest. You lose your confidence. And you just, yeah, you feel like the way I feel. I, I think that has something to do with it. Because like I said, some of the other symptoms have sort of leveled out. But I, I feel like, I feel like this might be it. And so I was looking into herbal solutions. Now people talk about maca. See this? I have maca. I have used it. I did a video about how it increases your libido, which could be a good thing in your marriage, you know? Um, I also said like increased my enjoyment of things in general. And I'm starting to think maybe it raises testosterone. I looked up um, some stuff about that in some forums and, and people do talk about maca improving your testosterone balancing your hormones including the testosterone but you know it's not studied scientifically and they can't prove exactly like they haven't measured people's levels and again we only need our level to go up a tiny bit to make that difference but I, I didn't see any scientific literature showing that that's what it does I'm starting to think maybe it has something to do with it though so I'm back on the maca as of like yesterday you guys saw me in my video. I was in bad shape, you know? I mean, yes, I'm upset about things, but I felt like I was feeling really angry and negative and just so discouraged about everything. And some of it, again, it's, you know, it's the stuff that's going on and some of it is me. So this, I'm, I'm gonna start taking it again because I'm sort of on and off with it. And the other thing was there's some other spices. There's cayenne and paprika that raise your testosterone a little bit. Um, so those are obviously easy to add to the food. Of course, I don't want to have too much testosterone. You're going to know because I'm going to be talking like this. Hey, it's Sonia, and I'm here to give you a little update on the DIY HRT. And uh, safe to say, I think I went a little too heavy on the testosterone, if you know what I mean. Yeah, if you hear me <laughs> kidding like that, you'll know where I start growing a beard or something, you know. But here's another one. It's called Damiana. And this is a little stronger than... Uh, paprika and pepper, but cayenne pepper. And I got the Damiana here and it says to take three capsules three times a day. That sounds like a lot, but that's because it's meant to be used for UTI problems, which I don't have, and I'm not using it for that. I mean, I guess I'm using it like off label. Um, so I, I try, but I feel like I'm fishing in the dark. Like I don't know what the dose is, but that's how it is with herbs. But I'll let you know how it turns out. I'm going to take, I'll start with one capsule. I actually wanted a tea. Uh, I hate swallowing pills. But anyway, this is from Nature's Way Damiana Leaves. All right, so we'll see how that goes. There's another one which doctors prescribe. See, if you got a good menopause doctor who does like a comprehensive profile and does an accurate prescription, they're going to give you estrogen replacement, progesterone replacement, a little bit of testosterone replacement, and DHEA which is, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it right. Dihydro... Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. It's something, something androsterone. Anyway, 
whatever. It's DHEA and androsterone. Andro is male. It's like a male hormone. I don't know, it's weird, but apparently we need some of it too. Otherwise we get castrated and then you end up like me and you're like, ugh, sit in the chair and do the knitting. Uh, DHEA is something that doctors will give you with your menopause kit. So I was like, well, that's great. I'll go out and I'll just get myself a little DHEA and just pop a cap every day, see how that works out. And you know what? Turns out it's illegal in Canada. So I'm out of luck there. I feel like that really sucks. Because maybe that would really help me and a lot of other people, but for some reason, it's illegal. It's not illegal in America, but it's illegal in Canada. So I can't get it, but if you're in the US, you might want to look into DHEA. So what else have I been doing to deal with this? I've been going to the gym a lot. Now, you guys know I was going to the gym. I've been going for like two and a half years. I had a lot of improvements in my physical fitness. I lost some weight. I was super happy about it. And then I started homeschooling my son about six months ago and I could not find the time to go to the gym. I mean, there's only so much you can do in one day. Anyway, I couldn't find the time to go to the gym. And in the six months, I gained five or six pounds. Very depressing. But I'm not gonna let it get me down. Uh, and since gunner has been at camp, I'm going back to the gym and uh, that is supposed to help with everything too. And it's supposed to also raise your testosterone. So the government may forbid me from getting DHEA, but they can't prevent me from going to the gym. So this is one of my strategies. But I'll tell you, a lot of the time I just feel these waves of like a sadness that it's, it's like to the point where it's like physically uncomfortable. It's like almost make me feel nauseous, like this, this, I can't even explain it. It's like this horrible, weird, sad, poison, like I'm poisoned with sadness kind of feeling that I can't even trace what it's from. I can't think of a reason. Like my life is okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but whatever. I, I you know, it's, it's not that different than it was a few years ago and, and I was coping fine. And now all of a sudden it's like, I'm not even thinking about anything sad. It just keeps coming and coming. And uh, all I can do is try to distract myself and not think about it. And, and going to the gym has been, I guess, a way for me to cope. But I'll tell you, it's not easy. I mean, I'm doing menopause au naturel and it's been really, really hard. But I feel like I, I can't take the pharmaceuticals. And I'm also hoping that one day I'll be able to taper off these hormones. And if I take pharmaceuticals, then I'm going to have to go through like hormone withdrawal all over again. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't know, but this is what I'm doing. It, it's what feels right to me for now. So there's my update. And uh, oh, one last thing. I wanted to give a shout out. You know, I, I had a, a bunch of shout outs that I wanted to do. Actually, I had a list here, but thanks to menopause, I'm a little disorganized. <laughs> Blame it on the menopause. Um, Okay, now here is one shout out I've wanted to do for a long time. It's a shout out to Throatzilla. That, that's been coming for a long time. Throatzilla. Also, Froze1983, who we used to chat quite a bit up here on YouTube. I want, oh, he's probably not watching this. He's probably not watching. Why would he watch a menopause video? Well, in case you're there. Hi, Froze. Uh, Carla Akins. I should really be doing that shout out in an autism video because Carla wrote a wonderful book called A Pair of Miracles, sent me the book. So I want to give her another shout out. Um, Karen Burns. Karen, my friend, The Walking Party. Actually a friend of mine who I met through YouTube and now we're friends for real. We w I went down in New Jersey to visit her. You can see some of my travel videos down in New Jersey. That's Karen Burns. Hi, Karen. Love ya. Oh, I wanted to say hi to James Hoke, who says he loves getting uh, notica notifications from me. Again, maybe James isn't watching the Menno video, but I, I, you know what? I'll do more shout outs in another video because probably it's just the women watching this video. I mean, I could do women shout outs, but uh, mostly these are guys that I had on the list here. Anyway, that's it. Uh, it. Maybe it's the testosterone. I feel castrated. And let's see what we can do about this. And, you know, to all of you who are going through this, God bless you, and uh, I hope it gets better and, you know, hang in there. People keep telling me it gets better, it gets better. Yeah, when? When does it get better? Two years post, still suffering, 
seven years I've been going through this. You know, when people say with depression, oh, you know, it's, it's going to pass. It's just a temporary thing and whatever. Seven years. Does that seem temporary to you? I mean, I'm not considering antidepressants. I'm afraid of them. I don't think it's a solution. But that's why people, you know, they go on medications because sometimes, no, it's not just like a short temporary thing and you're too much of a wuss to get through it. Sometimes it really drags on. Seven years. And who knows how much longer. But uh, that's it. I'm, I'm not ready to just sit down and start knitting just yet. So I'll let you know how it goes. And that's it. Thanks for listening to me. Thank you for your support on Patreon. And thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to me. I said it in the wrong place. And I'll see you next time.